everybody, I'm Alexander Lancaster over here at Tool Wolf Studio in Artist Den with our newest artist of our collective, James Taylor. Woohoo! <laughs> James, can you tell us who you are? Let's go with a quote from Alice in Wonderland. Who I am to do, or, dang, I screwed up the quote already. Pretty much she says something along the lines of, who I am now is different from who I was this morning and it's ever changing. Nice. So, sum it up, I do lots of art, but that's one aspect of lots of different elements I do. <laughs> Very cool. What is your medium, Jace? For, to be honest, well, my medium actually kind of comes second to the idea first. Um, specifically for the show, I'm using my own blood in it. Um, the work's about depression, suicide, subject matter that kind of taboo, and what better way to express this subject matter than, to be honest, use your own blood in it. So I guess it kind of answers the same question <laughs> of why blood? Yeah, but we'll even take it a step further than just saying depression and suicide. It's, we, we can always, you know, when people talk about depression and suicide, it's that big no-no. People don't want to talk about it. They don't want to admit they have it. It's this great contemporary moray where it's not there. But be honest, everyone knows someone who's committed suicide. Everyone has, at some point in time, suffered depression at some point in time, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a loss of a loved one, whether it's just financial hard times, struggling in school, struggling, surviving. There's elements there that all factor into that depression. So I'm trying to take this little subject matter, push a little bit further, and again, me literally slitting my wrist and actually using my own blood in my work is me taking myself, pushing myself that much harder to make the point. You're the featured artist of this show this month. And your show is called My Therapy. What is your mission of the show? Going back to kind of what I said beforehand, I want to take a subject matter that's uncomfortable and make people talk about it. Again, you can't solve an issue. You, you can't deal with depression unless you admit that you have depression. Mm -hmm. um, that includes the further down the road of uh, suicide. For me, it's I want people to talk about using art specifically. How do they deal with the situations? Um, again, looking at my artwork, you should have this like mm, turn in your stomach, and you should actually dislike my artwork to be honest. And I hope I'm causing an emotional reaction that I can get you to talk about something, whether it's a time when you yourself were depressed, dealing with a friend who had depression, anything that involves that, like getting you to talk, that starts this conversation which you can deal with the problem in the long run. So the, the payoff is the conversation. Exactly. Awesome. Very awesome. So um, with working with something like this that you're doing with your blood paintings and stuff, is there an inspiration? Can you tell me about any kind of inspiration that you've had to start doing this? A lot of it actually um, is based off, well initially when I started doing the blood paintings it was based off myself. Um, I think my first large blood painting actually preceded me trying to kill myself by a couple of weeks. Um, consciously not realizing that was going on. Um, as the years have gone on, I've refined how I've done it. Um, it's a lot, I've, 10 times more safety nets are going on now. Um, again, to be honest, the process, the first time I did it, I was not trying to kill myself. <laughs> it just happened to coincide with some other things going in my life. Um, but now, like I said, it's, my inspiration actually comes more from actually other narratives now. Um, instead of making myself about the artwork's just about me, it's about other people now. I'm pulling off stories about a little boy who got bullied for being a brony. If you don't know what a brony is, a kid who likes My Little Pony. Or a brony. Yes, a brony. So he got picked on for that, so he tried to hang himself. Luckily, this little boy's still alive. Um, another uh, painting I did recently, or a series of paintings I did recently, involved a girl who went off to college, was an all-star athlete, all-star um, grades, just didn't adapt to college really well. And unfortunately, this story ends with a sadder story where she actually jumped off a roof and killed herself. But the base of the article talked about like how on social media, it's all about smiling, like, making sure the rest of the world thinks you're happy, which just compresses that issue so much more. Hence, me trying to force people to talk about it. It's a huge conversation. There's so many different elements about it. There's so many different aspects. And the biggest issue that comes up is people aren't talking about it. Hence, it becomes an issue. So, so what do we talk about though? First, you gotta like 
figure out what the problem is, understand where your depression is. Are you going to know where it's coming from initially? Nope. But again, by starting off with understanding what's going wrong inside mentally, I mean, it's do you just need to go talk to someone? Just talking and venting helps how much more. If it's that severe, do we need to go into seeing some help? I've actually gone to, I used to go see a shrink, I used to be on antidepressants. I mean, there's so many different elements to go there. It's not just a, hey, but you're fixed. But here's the problem is, we can't figure out what the problem is unless we figure out and name what the problem is in the first place. Right. So recognizing the problem and starting to put some conversation to the problem is really the first step. This isn't like a cure-all for depression or suicide. This is really to get the conversation started. Right? Exactly. It's that first step to solve the problem. Yeah. I think, you know, an interview and pictures is always one way to get the word out about what we're doing, but no better way than to come in and check out your work. When is your opening going to happen? Opening will be next Friday, which will be uh, November 6th. Um, it's going to be here at Two Wolves over here in North Topeka. If you don't know where Two Wolves is, it's upstairs. Look for the yellow door. It's the easiest way to do it. It's so we are welcoming everybody. Exactly. But could we say parental get guidance is suggested? Is that I'll do this with parental guidance and be honest. Be a parent and talk to the kids. Watch the video. Look up some of James's work. James is also you got a Facebook page. Um, I don't actually have her <coughs> video, and Excuse me. this is gonna bring up other issues also. But it's underneath. If you look up Good Taylor, that's what my artworks are all gonna be underneath. Um, I do use a derogatory term, but that's a whole other conversation to bring up. <laughs> but we can talk about that if you show up Friday. That's right. Show up Friday and ask James why he goes by the name Gook. <laughs> and then, uh, really, I mean, accept the message. Look at the message that James is bringing. And it really, is, to me, it's an important time. Um, November, December is some depressing times. So. I think not everybody can relate, and I don't ever expect everybody to relate to what I'm doing with the art, but I hope to touch somebody. Do you feel the same way when it comes to that? As I put it, I don't want sympathy. If anything, I want the emotion of empathy to come out, whether you have the ability to give an ear to listen to someone who needs help, or even if you yourself needs help, feel open enough to talk to someone. Um, again, there's someone out there to help you no matter what the issue is. That's true. And you don't and, talk, they can't help you. And let's start with the art. Exactly. I think that's my new motto. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again for hosting a show like this. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of Tool Studio. Uh, that's one of the most effort. awesomest part yeah. about it is that we do have these awesome artists that can really shine. And uh, thank you for being a part of that. And thank you guys for watching. And share the video and help the conversation get started. And we'll see you Friday. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs>